gentlemen of Oceanside, I am Colonel Daniel Whitley, Deputy Commander of Marine Corps Installations West. I am once again honored by this opportunity to address our community. On behalf of the Marines, sailors, families, and leadership of Camp Pendleton and Marine Corps Installations West, thank you. Before I begin, I'd like to address an important issue regarding prohibited drone activity. It is crucial to highlight that every U.S. military installation, including Camp Pendleton, is a designated no drone zone. We understand there are some beautiful stretches of Camp Pendleton land that lie along I-5 and its rest areas. However, I want to emphasize that flying a drone on federal land is a federal offense. We appreciate your cooperation on this matter. Thank you. Camp Pendleton has conducted high-level training since its establishment in 1942, and we are grateful for our community's dedication and support throughout the past 83 years. Our history began during World War II, where we served as a mission essential training ground for amphibious operations and we continue to make history today as a premier military installation with the ability to continually adapt to meet the evolving needs of the future force. A large majority of today's forward deployed forces have trained on Camp Pendleton's storied grounds prior to deployment. We provide an essential West Coast installation for force generation, projection, and sustainment. As our closest neighbor, I want to take a moment to address the audible sounds our training creates. The booms you may be hearing consist of live fire training with high explosive munitions. The sound of these explosions can be amplified by environmental factors and may be heard up to 50 miles away from our installations. We understand these booms may cause temporary disruption and greatly appreciate your continued support as our Marines receive the training necessary to prepare them for worldwide deployment. You may also begin to see smoke coming from our installations as we enter Southern California's fire season. Our Marines, sailors, and firefighters train around the clock to hone their skills as one of the best fighting forces in the world. This training sometimes leads to small, isolated vegetation fires occurring within our impact areas and ranges. These vegetation fires, as well as prescribed burns, pose no threat to any personnel or structures and serve to reduce annual non-native grasses, overgrowth, and safety concerns. Camp Pendleton is situated within a moderate fire hazard zone, and we rely heavily on mutual aid agreements with interagency partners such as the Oceanside Fire Department, North County Fire Protection District, and CAL FIRE, to mitigate that risk. This collaboration enhances our capabilities to manage fire dangers through joint training and coordinated wildfire crisis response efforts. Furthermore, all training that is executed on our installations is planned hand in hand with our environmental security department to ensure the over 55 endangered, threatened, and sensitive species of plants and animals that call our installations home continue to thrive. In closing, I want to express my appreciation to the city of Oceanside and our local communities. Thank you for your unwavering support over the past 83 years. I look forward to our future as a community and for the bond between Camp Pendleton and our neighbors to grow. Carly and team, thank you again for hosting me at KOCT and Semper Fidelis Oceanside. You're watching KOCT Television in Oceanside.